good morning students i hope you all are taking care of yourself today i am going to start with your english literature chapter so first the first chapter is the new house the story is written by john boyan who is an irish novelist this story is an extract from his most famous novel the boy in the stripped pajamas the story is set during the second world war the author has described about the emotional difficulties the feeling of a 9 year old boy who had to leave his house due to certain circumstances and move to a new house at a new place so before we start the chapter i like to introduce you to the main characters the main characters are the young boy whose name is bruno he is 9 year old his 12 year old sister gretel his father who is a commandant in the german army his mother and their house help maria who is more like a family member so now let us start with the chapter in the first line on you can see it's written when he first saw their new house bruno's eyes opened wide his mouth made the shape of an o and his arms stretched out at his sides everything about it seemed to be the exact opposite of their old homes now here in the first line the phrase eyes wide open has been used which means being surprised or astonished after looking at something unexpected so here bruno was surprised to look at his new house everything about the new house seemed to be exactly opposite to what he used to where he used to live he used to live in berlin in a very huge house and there were other houses in the lane that was as big as his and there were many people living in those houses there were many boys some of them were his friends those whom he liked he played with them but there were certain other boys who were troublesome so he tried to avoid them and he always kept himself away from those people so in the last line you can see it's written steer clear of steer clear of means keep oneself completely away from somebody or something the second paragraph the new house it was on an empty lonely place desolate word is used which means lonely and uninhabited which meant that there were no other houses as well so there were no more boys no families no other person to play with or at the same time he would have no trouble whereas as compared to this the house in berlin was very huge and it was so huge that he lived there for 9 years but even after living there for 9 years he was able to find out a certain corner in the house which he had never seen before so here you can see the phrase no can corners sorry no can crannies had been used there were even whole house the rooms his father room was there which was his father's office and it was out of bounds the phrase out of bounds is used which means prohibited means nobody was nobody was allowed to enter that house no exceptions so if that was the, the big office place for his father however the new house had three floors the basement ground floor and top floor in the basement the house help used to live the ground floor had a kitchen and a dining room and his father's new office which again had the same restriction nobody was allowed to enter that office 
and at the first floor there were three bedrooms and only one washroom. It reminded him of his old house in Berlin and in, when he saw this new house he recollected his memories of the old house where he could see that in Berlin there were streets, there were a center of the town where he could see people stopping by and walking and just having a chat, catching up with each other and there were some others who were rushing around means they had a, they were trying to do a lot of things at a short period of time but here they, around the new house there were no other house so he could not find any people rushing around and or uh, waiting and chatting with each other so he closed his eyes and everything up appeared to be empty all the places he he thought that he was living in the loneliest place on the in this world on this earth so there was something about the new house which made him sad he was very sad he was nothing was there to cheer him up so he thought in himself that it was a very bad bad idea to relocate and come to this place he saw that Ma Maria was unpacking her his suitcase upstairs and as I told you Maria was not only a house elf, it was she was more like a family member and he could see that th this house uh, help Maria was talking with other other people in a very low voice there was an old man too who was there to cut vegetable and prepare vegetable for them and get it ready for the dinner and he also seemed to looked very unhappy and angry at this situation and he said that I think the best thing then uh, to do was to just go back to our original place go back home that was the place which he thought to be his home so he and he said there's another phrase which is used as you can see I've underlined that we can chalk it up to experience so it means that to regard a bad situation as a learning experience rather than dwelling on its negative impact in short you can say that learn from a particular experience he said he used this phrase to pacify this young boy now mother smiled and he said that I and she said that I have another phrase for you and it is to make the best of a bad situation now this phrase means that it to ex, ac, accept a bad situation and deal with it in the best way that one can here the mother is trying to cheer her son up by saying that life is not good here but we should try to make the best of it. Well, Bruno said that I don't know. I think you should tell father that you have changed your mind and well if we have to stay here for the rest of the day and have dinner here this evening as we have come so we can have dinner here and if we want to reach to Berlin, Berlin before tea time we should leave this place early morning so mother had no other option but she said that uh, just to avoid the boy she asked him that why don't you go upstairs and help Maria to unpack your things then again he was arguing that but there's no point of uh, unpacking our things when we uh, have to go back to our old place then uh, she got irritated with repeatedly the same thing the boy was saying and she snapped him and said that you need to understand that we have arrived here and this is our home and i can foresee the future that means it will continue to happen for a long time that means she was trying to tell him that this is our future this is the place with where we are going to live for a much longer time so you need to understand and we have to make the best of the situation but the boy he was a young boy he could not understand that what does the word foreseeable future meant as her, her, his mother told him but then she said a mother again ex explained to him and to 
cut short his uh, his argument she said that that's an end to it now you have to stop the argument and you better go and help maria to unpack your things so the way her mother his mother told him he understood that this time she was she meant what she said and then he left the place to go and help his maria to unpack his things so children i'm going to stop here this is all for today and the rest part of the story uh, i'll explain to you in the next video thank you and have a nice day